So, second video, and here is my one of my uh, sec my second favourite collections that I have is obviously the Doc Two Sonic Screwdrivers, and I'm on the appropriate rug. Obviously, let me see Tardis. I've got a nice little Tardis mug which I stick uh, the first five the five classic screwdrivers in. Um, so my this is not in the order, unlike my phaser one, this is not in the order of how I got them. If I did that, then that would take, a, I don't know how, which came first. But um, I pretty much have all the screwdrivers. I'm just missing, I think one, missing one Sonic screwdriver. That's the first Doctor's, no not first Doctor's, second Doctor Sonic. But that was pretty much a pen light, that wasn't much. Um, there wasn't any creativity in that, they just got a pen mark and said, here, that's a sonic screwdriver. Anyway, um, I pretty much have them all, so from the 3rd Doctor to the recent 12th Doctor, obviously um, I've got a few 11th Doctors, but I've got a reason for that. Uh, so let's get into this then, so my the 3rd Doctors, what's the people seeing reviews? now? I got this, I think this was when I, I was on holiday when I got this, yeah, it's uh, my favourite classic, so we're going to classics, I do tell you my favourite classic Sonic screwdriver, and my favourite new Sonic screwdriver, dismissing Rivers Sonic, because Rivers is my favourite, but it's not my favourite. Doctor's Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Um, so yeah, this is my favourite um, classic Sonic Screwdriver, just because look, at it, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's just the colour scheme and everything. I know this was what this this came out. They bought this screwdriver out in the year in the time when colour was a thing when they introduced Doc Two with colour. So that's why they did that. Nice and bloody bright colours. Um, but I like it because it's just the way you activate it. You have to pull down the collar kind of the collar bit, this shaft bit, and it just. Although it kind of looks like most of these look like a, an actual doctor's instrument to look into your ears with. Um, I just quite like it because it actually looks. Um, like a, a scientific instrument a time lord would have. It looks like a sonic screwdriver. Um, sorry about the clothing. But yeah, um, obviously this is, I think the third or fourth, I think it's the third wave. Or fourth wave they did of this, uh, which is the accurate. Uh, the first one you can get was, this was bright red, the, um, black line was thinner and there was more of them and it just wasn't accurate this was these were thinner I think or thicker but these were different it was all different it was all wrong but now this is accurate in a way size isn't accurate obviously because it's a toy but the color scheme is um, next classic Sonic Screwdriver obviously is the fourth doctors now although it's not my favorite Sonic Screwdriver the fourth Doctor is my favourite classic Doctor. I just love the classic. I just love him. His, the way he is, the jelly baby, offering everybody jelly baby, and the quirkiness of him. And also the curly hair, the hat, his whole costume as well. Just his personality and everything. That's what I like about him. That's what I like about him. Also his scarf. I love this scarf. I've actually got that. That's downstairs. I've actually got the scarf. Um, but yeah, this is... See, fourth doctors. Uh, the color scheme was taken down a notch. You can see um, it's not so as um, colorful. It's because they've uh, been in the uh, TV, they've been in the color era for a while, so they're kind of taking it down a notch. They don't want to. It doesn't have to be so bright and colorful. I think he's broken his bag. What a more. Sorry about that. Uh, my brother's broken his bag. Um, that's not good, that was a Christmas present. Uh, it's still, in a way, it's still my favourite screwdriver because the fact is it's still 
the fifth, fourth, and third Doctor screwdriver is pretty much the same thing. Uh, a couple of differences, obviously, in colour scheme and the way everything is, but it's pretty much the same screwdriver. They've just added a few things. Um, it's still nice. Um, I do like the bit that uh, Patrice threw. Now, this one, this one I do remember, I got on holiday because I couldn't find a fifth Doctor screwdriver. So, me being me, I decided to get another fourth Doctor, which is this one, and then the one I had at home, the old one, paint it. The colour scheme, because the fifth Doctor's was the fourth Doctor's with two different paint jobs, with the, the red bit here not being black and a white collar. So that's what I did. So this is my old fourth Doctor screwdriver, as you can tell, because it's got tenth Doctor's uh, sound effects, and this has got eleventh. So yeah, this is the newer one. Um, but yeah, this yeah. So um, I got this on holiday, obviously, and um, I thought, yep, yeah, I'm gonna, because couldn't find a fifth Doctor. Nowhere, I couldn't find a fifth Doctor. If there was a store that had fifth Doctor, had the Sonic screwdrivers, they only had third, fourth, and eighth, and a couple of tens. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I thought, sod it, I've had enough of trying to find it, I'm going to make it. So I went home, I bought the fourth Doctors, went home, and here's the fifth Doctors. Obviously, painted white here. Um, as you can tell, kind of a bad job, but I don't care. I did this a couple of years ago. Um, obviously, the red is not the right colour, but still, I don't care. It's the fifth Doctors, pretty much. It's red and white. Now I think I prefer this kind of this to the um, fourth Doctor's because I kind of like it, the red and the white. It just looks a lot cooler, looks a lot better than just the black. Um, because uh, this is it shows where you hold it. It's like you hold it there. That's where you put it down. It, it all blends in in a way. It just blends in. It just doesn't look so. It doesn't look enticing to you because it doesn't look as interesting. I can't even think of the word, but this just—it just pops out. It just shows you that's where the uh, that's where the sonic sound waves come out, and that's what you pull on. Um, yeah, um, nothing really much to say about this. Uh, when I got this, I'm really impatient, so I, I just. My mum was actually going to take me downtown on the weekend, but I was like, "Nah, I, I'm not that. I'm not that patient." So it was raining. It was, it was, a, it was pouring down with rain, and I think it was. It was a. I think it was an inset day, or was it a day? It was a week off. I think it was the holidays, and my mum was at work, and I thought, "Do you know what? I'm not waiting for mum." So I grabbed my coat, grabbed my hat, and grabbed money, and went out. I got myself. The fourth Doctor Screwdriver and got my brother, uh, I think it was a tenth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, whatever one he wanted. Was it eighth? No, it was that. Um, and I was that impatient, I actually took it out of the packaging then and stuck it in my pocket and actually went it around Sonic and stuff. I know, I'm a geek, alright. If you ever see me wandering around, I've probably got something sci fi on. It's like I've got loads of stuff. Um, next one. Eight. Now we only had one of these at first. Um, my brother now has one because I think he got it as a present. Now I quite like this one. Uh, this is probably my second favorite. This is the third. This is first favorite classic. Second, third, fourth. Uh, I, the reason why I like it is because it's static and it just looks. The way it looks is cool. It, I know everything blends in, but the way it is, um, with the nice red, just the red bullet shape, the silver. I know it doesn't all move down. It doesn't move down. There's a button here that you press. But that's what I like. It's kind of coming into this era with all the buttons. Um, there is a little gimmick feature with this, but it doesn't have it. Which is you can if you you screw it down, you can actually pull it down like the um, 11th Doctor's. It springs up into action. Um, 
Like this is in its, its action mode, this is in its active mode, but there's a little feature. If you watch the Doctor Who film from the 90s, I think it is, uh, there's a little screw feature, you screw it and you pull it down and it's locked in, so you can't use it. I wish they did that with the toy, but still, on the other hand, it's still nice to display or nice to have in the collection because it's the 8th Doctor's screwdriver. I was actually happy when they actually bought this out. I thought, I said to myself, I've got to get it. And if I don't, it's not a good collection. Um, obviously, still, none of these have the correct sound effects because character options are lazy. This, this does have, this, ha these two have the correct, sa that has, this has the correct sound effects and the rest of these have correct sound effects. These ones, they just put in either the 10th Doctor sound effects or the Doctor sound effects, which is a bit lazy, but still, um, I, I didn't really buy them for the sound, I just bought them for the looks and to just go into the collection. I will get props, by the way, I did, should mention, I will get props of a few of these at some point, probably 10th because that is my at, at most favourite new Sonic screwdriver and then 11th I want to get these two as props I do have this as a remote but it's not a prop I'll get to that way um, obviously on to War Doctors now this one's cool um, I don't know what you call this either classic or new um, I guess it's in a genre of its own in a very of its own um, it's still nice it's a bit like the fourth Doctor's. It just, well, no, it's not like the fourth Doctor's. It doesn't blend in as much. It's got a nice fez at the bottom, but it's uh, pretty much fourth Doctor's. Now, there are some people out there making uh, metal props of this, and I ask myself why, because this is actually the prop, and you might be thinking, nah. Well, in actual fact, this is actually the prop. If you go and buy the character's option toy, you've got the prop. Because in Day of the Doctor, they didn't give the War Doctor a metal one, they gave him a plastic one. They actually went and got 4th Doctor Sonic and took off the top bit and had a little red bit at the bottom. No joke, that's what they did. They took this off, added a red LED on the top, and then added a little fez at the bottom and put in a different sound chip. That's it. If you did that, if you took out this and put a red light and put that little fez, this little fez thing on the bottom, you got the prop. Because that's what they did. No joke. Um, so they never used the metal one. No ideas why, but I'm guessing that's because it's um, just a one time thing. You're not going to see the War Doctor, so there's no point in making a nice metal prop when you're only going to show it a couple of times. Um, now, I do like it because it's kind of the way you hold it. There is a certain you can hold it a certain way. Plus, it's just a red light. It's a nice little red light. It's a different thing compared to blue or green. Um, there isn't really much to say about it because it's just the fourth Doctor's really. Obviously, it has the classic sound effects, which I don't know why they didn't just put them in this. I don't know why they just didn't put the right sound effects in these. No idea why. Um, but yeah, whatever I said about the fourth Doctor's really is the same about this. It all blends in. Uh, they could have added like white paint on here so you know, so it gives the uh, bit of depth or some paint gives it a bit of depth, really. Um, I do like it though. I have. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have gone up to some wooden doors and recreated the scene, okay? I know, I'm a geek, alright? Don't have to tell me again. Um, next one is a modified. I know, right? Button on here. I'm not gonna tell you how, because that's gonna waste time. But, um, this is a blend of a classic, original, a, um, a sonic screwdriver the right body and right collar. So this is Day of the Doctor and this is just a generic um, generic kind of body. Um, what I basically did was I just took this out, turned it round so the uh, button inside comes into the slider and then glued this above the button 
and then add a little peg in. It's very simple to do. And then there you go, it works like the prop. I've seen people go through much, so much effort just to make this the prop. I'm like, why? And it's a bit like the, uh, actually one of the props is just like this. It does have a big column, big shaft, and a big button. So yeah, uh, sorry if the camera keeps going out of focus. It's my bad for moving so much. Um, this is my favourite new Who UK Sonic Screwdriver because the real, I do have the TV remote, but it's broken. Um, but, but the reason why I like it is because... The prop is actually small, nice small, like a screwdriver sometimes is, and it just, I've held the TV remote which is scanned from temp David Sonic and it just looks so cool, the way everything is, um, and how you push it up and you can just, so yeah this is my favourite, I have, like I said, I've modified it, so this is um, not the bun, this is the bun. Um, I like that it's a step above all these. Seriously, get in focus. Um, I don't know what much really to say about this. I do recreate scenes, alright, with this. Kind of. Uh, but when I, I, I just had to modify it because I was fed up with character options getting it wrong. So, yeah. Um, I might do a video on how to do it. In a way, maybe at some point. I don't know. There's not really much to say about this because there are so many reviews out there of people doing these, and I'm just showing my collection basically. Oh yeah, I got this. Um, the Day of the Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I haven't ruined the body. I haven't ruined this. I've ruined that. I can put the Day of Doctor Screwdriver back. Um, but the way I got Day of Doctor one was because I met this guy. The guy I bought this off at a convention. I I was after. Day of the Doctor one, and he he gave me his card and said, "Give me a call, and, and I'll see if I can find one for you." So I rang him up, and I said, "Hi, I I, I met said, hi, we talked. So I, I was wondering if you can get me the Day of Doctor screwdriver," and he said, "Yeah." Now he contacted me a couple of times, took a while. It kind of saved the hassle for me, but once he found it, he found it for a good deal for me. It was a very good deal. Um, once he found it for me, I was absolutely relieved because there were no... You could find this, but you couldn't find their Doctor Screwdriver anywhere in, in the UK. Um, so once I got it, I was absolutely happy. I kept on you. I had it with me all the time because it was the Day of the Doctor Screwdriver. Um, I did watch Day of the Doctor when I got it. Don't judge. I, I watch shows and films when I get something from them, like tomorrow I'm getting Harry Potter, Newt Scamander's, Fanta Newt Scamander's one from Fantastic Beasts and tomorrow I will watch Fantastic Beasts. Don't judge me, it's just what I do. Um, I was happy when I got it and it's been a while and uh, I really wanted the prop because I just, it was really annoying just pressing the buttons so I modified it um, and as this was the correct emitter I decided to stick it in this body. So yeah, that's how that came along. This took a while. This was last year I made that. Uh, on to the next one. Now I've got two of these. This one, I got on holiday because I broke my original. I did have the original, but I broke broke it and I broke one of the amplifiers off and I lost it. This is the original, obviously, you can tell. Now, I got this at last year at Collectomania, I think it was Birmingham. I was happy when I got it. Uh, I didn't really care for the box, I just wanted the screwdriver. Um, but this one I got on holiday when I went with my name Grandad a few years ago. This one's just the red. This just does the red emitter. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'll have to buy it because it's, I need it. And then when I found this at the at the Kylex Mania, I decided to buy it because it was the proper one. There's not really much to say about it. This one's my favourite. I love this one. I love the episode as well from Science Library and um, Forest of the Dead. I believe it is. Yeah. Uh, there's not really much to say about them. 
just I broke my original so I do have three somewhere in the ha third one in the house somewhere um, on to these three so you might be wondering why I've got two of the same well this one there's a nice story behind it this one I got given by my uncle now I keep breaking these the springer the spring just doesn't usually stay down quite a lot now it stays in this one um, my uncle said to me, I said, I've got a screwdriver for you. I kept on asking which one. He didn't tell me. Um, and then a couple of weeks or months later on, I go to his place and he pulls out this one. And I was absolutely happy because it's the one I broke. Uh, he got this off his boss because his um, kid doesn't like playing it with it anymore. He's and his boss came to him and said, I've got a screwdriver, do you want it? And he said, well, I, yeah, sure, I've got a nephew. Yeah, a nephew that, died, that would like it, because he likes Doctor Who. So he got it. I have cracked it a bit and glued it. But this, I'm never giving away, because it's nice. It was a present from my uncle, and in a great time, because I did break it. Obviously, it's the original because this was years and years ago before they even came out with the good ones. Um, but yeah, there's that's a nice backstory. That's why it's, it's going to stay in the collection. It's never going to be sold. Um, not even if I have to. This one is a modified version. Button here. There we go. Works up. It's a bit naff sometimes. It can break. Um, I, won't, I might do a review, a, a video on how to do it because it's quite simple and quite hard if you get it wrong. Um, I am a modifier, okay? I like to modify stuff. Um, but yeah, it's nothing really much to say. I bought the, I did this in a week. It took a while. I had to go backwards and forwards from one of my uncles to get it, get some wires in there soldered. But once it's done, it's done. I don't like to use it much. I will have it with me on. I will get this actually to be. I will get this black bit to be leather at some point. But I will take this with me. I think sometimes to conventions. Nah, I'm going to keep taking the remote control. Um, yeah, I had to modify it because. I was fed up with it being like this, being a spring, so I had to, I decided to do the uh, modification and make the button at the bottom. Now, funny thing with these, um, the button keep changing, the button used to be in line with the silver and then it changed to be in line with the copper, now it depends on who you, what, ear, what series you're going for. Um, and people say this is inaccurate. You know, the the uh, top's inaccurate and so is the button cover. Well, in fact, it's not. There are a couple of episodes where the emitter is emerald green and there is the hinge. So although it doesn't look nice, it's still accurate in a way. There are some episodes like Deep Breath, you will see the, uh, in Deep Breath, you see the plain and clearly emerald emitter and the button cover um, there are a few easter eggs though to how this is accurate like the um, this the claws are never close together they're always apart like that you have to watch if you watch a few episodes with the 11th doctor and 12th you do see uh, no not 12th 11th you do see that it is never closed properly never closed like that um, I think there probably are a few but some of them are open um, yeah there's some of them are open like that but yeah I had to modify it because I was um, fed up with the the bus the spring and everything next one pride of my collection is the remote I love it completely it's not a prop replica because there are a few inaccuracies uh, like the uh, collar here is not that fat it's actually quite thinner just like on the, it should be like the toy but it's not um, everything else I think is pretty much alright 
uh, except for this it should be a milky it should be a, should have some swirls it shouldn't be like that um but it's metal and it works like a prop i have messed around with some tvs with it okay uh, this is what i take to conventions as well i take this to conventions when i'm dressed up as 11th doctor if i do um i brought this with my own money and when it came i i was happy about it um I have used this a lot, uh, if I find it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There you go. You can see the paint, the uh, kind of paint, whatever it is, is coming, rubbing off. That's because I've held it a lot. That's because I control TVs a lot. I like to wind everybody up. Um, like I said, I do have the 10th Doctor's remote control, but I'm going to get a new one because it's broke. Next one. The 12th Doctor screwdriver, second. Um, oh, camera's a bit fuzzy. Um, this is modified thanks to a YouTube channel. Uh, same Sonic, different case. He does uh, loads of good modifications. Um, so, in the actual toy, when you put it down, it springs back up. But uh, there's no modification you can do, and you can keep it down. Now, this, if you do the modification right, this is the prop. Just like War Doctor screwdriver, this is the prop. This is this toy is scanned from every single little nook and cranny, every crack or wherever it is. Straight, this is scanned from the prop replica done by Rubber Toe, uh, except for the. Um, Scrub, scrub screw, whatever it is, on here, but that's simply you can add that in yourself. Uh, but yeah, this is actually scanned completely from the, the uh, prop. If you go and get the prop by Rubber Toe, you're just getting a metal version of this. Literally, that's it. So if you want the prop, but you also want it, you also want to run around with it and use it, buy the toy. Um. The modification is easy but hard at the same time because you have to be careful because you have to pull this top off and if, uh, if you pull it raw, pull it too hard you could break it and also this ring is a pain in the backside to take off <laughs> but if you follow every step on the channel same sonic different case if you follow the step on how this every step carefully on this you'll be fine i i had to use nail polish remover in the crack to get rid of the glue I use so much. Um, I do like it though, because I can actually like the le the twelfth doctor uses it. That's the way he holds it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my screwdriver. Sonic screwdrivers. Uh, I haven't put in the Sonic pen or Sonic lipstick or laser screwdriver because they're not Sonic screwdrivers. They're just Sonic devices or screwdrivers. Uh, I will show them off. Um, I have modified the laser screwdriver. I need to get a new one because I buggered it up. Um, I think my next review will be my lightsabers. That may be the next one. That um, I do have a I have a load of them, so that will be a long. I might do that in a two part of video because I do have a load. Actually, no. I'll get my one tomorrow. I'll do a one collection. I'll show off my one collection. I'll give you warning as well on the one collection video. But yeah, there's my Sonic Screwdriver collection. Um, I will get props. Like I said, I will get prop of this and this because I, they're my two favourites. My utmost favourite, my complete favourite is this. I love this one because of the red setting and blue setting and the way it looks. Second favourite, third favourite. Fourth favorite, uh, classic screwdrivers. Favorite uh, first. That's my top favorite. Second, third, fourth. Uh, it's the fourth. And this is just an era of its own. This is just a cool screwdriver. Um, but yeah, there's my screwdriver collection. I probably will get another. I will probably get more. But once I get replicas, I will do another video on them. I think that's it. Oh yeah, there's a little. That's why I have my screwdrivers in. So I'm going to uh, put them in now. Um, 
So it's a bit like in that first episode we get to see um, Bill. The Doctor's got all his screwdrivers in there. It doesn't hold the right ones. It holds in those five. It just holds in five. These go into my 11th Doctor costume. Um, I think that's it. Um, this is not all screwdrivers because I do have a touch control version of that and I have a second one of those. Um, I do have my Day of the Doctor one but I can't be asked to put it together. But yeah, that's it. Um, I will... Next video will be done next week. Probably Monday and I'll upload on Thursdays. Next one will be lightsabers. I will not show my... Um, homemade lightsaber that will be in a, another episode when I show off all my homemade stuff like wands um, lightsaber obviously uh, my uh, Captain Jack Sparrow compass I think that's about it I've made and I'll show you st other stuff that I've bought uh, stuff to do with other kind of shows so like Star Wars I'll show off my action figures um, Star Trek tricorder I've got and some other bits and pieces. I do have loads of stuff. Uh, I probably will. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Until next week. Peace.